All right, how's everybody doing today? Today I'll be reviewing this Hyanka amplifier. Now this amplifier is actually, it's a class, it's a four channel class, uh, class AB amplifier. Uh, it is not meant for subwoofers, but it is meant for speakers like, like woofers and tweeters, but you could use it as a subwoofer um, amplifier, but you have to use some modifications for it. Now as a subwoofer channel, I will be doing that and I'll be showing you what I'll be doing. So taking it out of the box right here, it's packaged really well. Um, it's not hitting the sides at all. It has like these foam level um, things around it. So let's just take it out of the box. All right, and it comes with a Hyanka user manual and also comes with screws, the screw down your amplifier in the car. So let's go through the manual real quick. So it says caution, don't use, you know, be careful with your ears. Um, I really want to go to the RMS rating of this amplifier. It shows you how to actually hook up an amp at this amplifier. Let's see. All right, here we go. So it's a class AB. RMS, RMS power is um, is 4x8 watt or 4x80 watts and then 4x120 on 2 ohms. So that's that's 4 ohms, 2 ohms, 1 ohm. Uh, the one ohm it doesn't say. So um, bridged at four ohms is two by 240 watts, and that is RMS. And the max in, on this amplifier is 2,000 watts. So what I'm what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be hooking up my a single Hyanka sub in the car and see how much power I can produce just using this amplifier. Now, I know Hyanka will eventually make their uh, another amplifier just specifically for subwoofers, but right now, this is what they have. So let's get this out of the box, or out of the plastic. All right, coming out of the plastic here, it is a very nice brush kind of looking, brush metal finish. Um, it is a uh, Hyanka, and it has a, let's see what type of fuse. It has a 35 fuse, two of them. Okay, and then right here, we have the um, speakers, the front, rear, and that's the bridge for four ohms. And then we have power, ground, and remote. Now this, I'm actually not sure what, which, what gauge wire this is. It looks like eight gauge wire. So I'm going to have to do a lot of modifications to my car because I run zero gauge wire. And I'll show you what I do. Um, what I'll do without rehooking the whole system up. I do have some spare eight gauge wire. Um, and I'll just show you what I do. Do not copy what I do because it's gonna be kind of a stupid idea, but it will work. All right, so we have um, high pass filter, X over for high pass filter, full and low pass filter. And here's the low pass filter. We have bass boost all the way up to 12 decibels. We have the gain right here, the um, rear and front RCAs. We have the, the gain right here for the front and the uh, high pass filter for the front as well. The, uh, like I said, this is all gonna be, the front would be like normal six and a half speakers. And the rear would be like a subwoofer or a um, six by nine if you have rear deck. And yeah, so let's let's get this thing. As you can see, like it is a class AB amplifier. Um, it is very nice. I believe it's like 70 around $70 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description But let's just go set it up and see what this thing can handle As I hooked it up to the car and right now it's on top of the the base the Tarion base 3k um, As you can see the power light is on so let me show you what I did. So it is 8 gauge wire So what I did is I soldered um, 8 gauge wire on top of the reducer making it fit into the eight gauge holes right here so we have power remote and ground and then we have my speaker wire running to the speaker i did i i just went ahead and did the what was in my box i mean because i had to take this out uh and then put the other one back in and they're about the same they're about the same rms rating so um yeah and this one's hooked up to two ohms just like the uh, high anchor would be uh and yeah, let's see how much this thing can produce. I am bridged at the moment on the amp. So let's think, let's see how much this thing can produce. This thing is pretty little. 
um like i said it is meant for speakers but i mean come on now you really think i'm gonna use this for a speaker like come on yeah how, how well do you know me all right let's get this thing done it's for educational purposes only let's get into the first song the first song will be money longer by uh Lil uzi bird so let's get it That's the demo of what the Hyanka amplifier can do. This is, like I said, this is a speaker amplifier. It's not meant for subwoofers. So go ahead, get you one of these if you have speakers. And if you want even, even a cheap sub, uh, sub amp, it does push a lot. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video and peace.